In the last lecture, we obtained RE model for common base transistor and for common emitter transistor. This is the RE model for common base transistor and this is the RE model for common emitter transistor. In case of common base transistor, if you see the output characteristics, you will find the slope, the slope of the curve is nearly equal to zero and we already know the output resistance is equal to 1 by slope. The input resistance is also equal to 1 by slope but we are talking about the output characteristics and in that case we have 1 by 0 which is equal to infinity. So the output resistance is equal to infinity in case of common base transistor and because of this we can neglect the output resistance in the RE model of common base transistor. You can easily neglect the output resistance because no current will flow through the output resistance and it will remain open circuited but in case of common emitter configuration if you see the output characteristics you will find the slope is not equal to zero because IB the base current increases with increase in with increase in the output voltage VCE and also beta is large. These are the two reasons for which slope is not equal to zero and the output resistance the output resistance is also not equal to infinity but it is very large in orders of mega ohms so still you can neglect the output resistance but for precise calculation the output resistance is there in case of common emitter configuration we will have the output resistance RO here and in problem if it is given that you can neglect the output resistance then neglect RO but generally we consider the output resistance in common emitter configuration. So this is one very important point in RE model of transistor and this was the point I forgot to explain in the last lecture so we are discussing it in this lecture. The next thing is modification in the RE model of common emitter transistor we generally use common emitter configuration because amplification is large in case of common emitter configuration and you can see the input and output sides are not properly separated like common base RE model so we will try to separate the input side and the output side you can see current through resistance RE is equal to IE and we already know we already know the emitter current IE is equal to the base current plus the collector current and the collector current the collector current IC is equal to beta times the base current so we can write emitter current is equal to IB plus beta times IB or we have beta plus 1 times IB now we will find drop across resistance RE we will find drop across drop across resistance RE and it is equal to resistance RE multiplied with the current IE the emitter current and the emitter current is equal to beta plus 1 times the base current so the drop is equal to RE beta plus 1 IB now to separate the input circuit and the output circuit we will take RE and beta plus 1 together and IB is the current flowing through the resistance beta plus 1 RE. So the first thing that we have to do is to have a resistance which is equal to beta plus 1 RE. This is the resistance and it is equal to beta plus 1 RE. Current flowing through the resistance is equal to IB. VBE is the input voltage and it is the drop across resistance RE when current through the resistance is equal to beta plus 1 IB. So the drop across resistance beta plus 1 RE when current flowing is IB is also equal to the input voltage VBE. So the drop across beta plus 1 RE is also equal to the input voltage VBE so this is the input side 
and on the output side we have the dependent current source and the output resistance RO so we have dependent current source having the value beta times IB this is the direction of the current beta times IB and this is the RE model of common emitter configuration so we have to consider the output resistance the output resistance is RO and the drop across this resistance is equal to VCE the output voltage so from now onwards we will use this RE model for common emitter configuration there is one more simplification in this model beta is a large quantity so beta plus 1 is nearly equal to beta so the resistance beta plus 1 RE beta plus 1 RE is nearly equal to beta RE so we can replace this by beta times RE and this is the final RE model for common emitter transistor